As I think about our 75th anniversary at Wheels, uh, it's a great time to reflect back on how we have been as successful as we have. It's really so amazing, starting with 70 vehicles with our first customer in Petrolager in 1939, and here we are today with hundreds of blue chip, outstanding clients, over 300,000 vehicles under management in, in North America, and with our partners ALD, well over a million vehicles in over 40 countries. It's just incredible that we've been able to achieve that. And as I think back, I think about, you know, how did we do that? Um, what is the source of our success? And, and I have to immediately go back to memories of my dad and the basic principles upon, upon which he built the business. One of the initial basis of our success was the fact that Armin was my brother-in-law and he was in a different business. And I noticed the qualities that he had and asked him if he would join the firm and work with me in developing a brand new business. Being his brother-in-law and having been a salesman, he felt I had the material quality to do a healthy opening job. He was a little skeptical about leaving a good job, but I finally convinced him that for less money he should work for me. <laughs> and it turned out to be a very, very wonderful decision, both on my part in hiring him and on his part leaving the company that he was with. He was obviously an incredible entrepreneur, uh, risking every penny he had in the 30s in the middle of the Depression to try and build a business, to have an image of taking a small dealership on the north side of Chicago and building it into a global superpower. Uh, but I think what really drove his success uh, beyond his entrepreneurial spirit and his vision was he always focused on the client. How do you bring value? How do you bring great service to the client? And that was his driving principle and guideline in terms of making decisions as we built the business over the years. The other thing that I found really quite remarkable about my father was um, my experience and my relationship with him, actually. He understood when it was time for the business to transition. The two of us had very complementary skills uh, and had great respect for each other. Uh, but he, my dad really was able to kind of give up the leadership to me in the, in the mid-70s. And it was a transition that was smooth and I think contributed substantially to our ability to continue to grow the business. So I remember first learning about wheels around the dinner table. My dad, uh, no matter how long a day he had had uh, or how much he had been traveling, he always came home enthusiastic about the business and wanting to share his passion of what had happened that day. So a lot of times, even if dinner was at nine o'clock at night, uh, we would sit around the dinner table and discuss the things that had happened and what he had learned. And my dad was really good at putting things into terms that everybody could understand. I think his, his favorite analogy was to use a hot dog stand, which uh, if you knew my grandfather, he loved to go to a place called Fluky's. Uh, it, was a, it was a hot dog stand near the old dealership. And my dad would talk about the business and explain the terms in terms of uh, a hot dog stand. As I got older, uh, my, one of my first jobs actually was at Wheels in 1986 when I was still in high school. I actually worked in the IT department and uh, had my first, one of my first work experiences uh, learning how to program our systems. And it, it's really even relevant today. I mean, almost everything we do is enabled by technology. And having been introduced to the business uh, from a standpoint of understanding how technology impacts our clients and uh, our employees uh, was a great way to get started in the business. And I learned very early on that really our business is about customer service and the, the caring and passion that every employee here has around serving our customers is really incredible. And they take almost every issue experience as an opportunity to uh, understand what the client need is and to do a better job for them. A lot of companies talk about customer service, but very few really deliver on that when the rubber meets the road, when the tough decisions need to be made. Um, and Wheels always partners with its customers and thinks of long-term relationships that are successful for both. So I think that our prospects are clients, they just don't know it yet. And so uh, the new growth, the new client additions are a big 
part of making sure that we are a vital organization for our current clients. Nobody else in the industry does what we do to help our clients mitigate risk. And one of our existing clients who had not been using us for our safety and risk programs, had been using a third party as a matter of fact, had come to us and said, you know, we'd kind of like to see a different solution. We'd kind of like to see what you have to help us. Once they saw how robust our offering was, uh, they came back and said, well, geez, we'd like to expand this to everybody else that drives a vehicle. And within a matter of two weeks, everybody in the company that I deal with just did backflips to accommodate this client. We now have a very, very satisfied client going forward. We are essentially known as the premier customer service organization in the fleet management industry. I believe wheel success can be contributed to the values that Dan and Jim Frank have installed in each of us. Whether you're in Canada, whether you're in the back shop, or whether you're in a client-facing function, everybody understands their role at Wheels and the impact it has on our ability to delight our clients on a daily basis. I've been with Wheels over 14 years, um, but my background with Wheels really goes back much further than that, in that I was a Wheels customer uh, more than 20 years ago. So over the, the past 35 years, I've had exposure to various aspects of wheels, a lot of different people, but the one thing that, that has remained constant is, is the philosophy of the people and the true belief that they're doing the right thing and wanting to, uh, uh, to, to serve their customers. When I came to wheels, uh, I learned quickly that you know, they had some catchy phrases, but on the other hand, it was, we treat every client as if they're our only client. And at first I thought, well, that's probably just marketing hype. But over the course of 25 years of selling to new prospective clients and, and supporting existing clients, I really learned that that's true, that uh, we really put our best foot forward with all of our clients. We bring prospects in here to our facility and they see the dedication and the people and they go from each department and learn what we have to offer for them if they make a change and come to wheels. I remember when we first started here, we didn't have PCs. All we had was monitors and we would go in the office and, and pull up car sales. Now we have PCs, we have laptops, we have tablets, we have cell phones. We can sell cars on a personal device now instead of talking to somebody over the phone. So the, the, the changes in my department are, are dramatic, um, but the people are still the same. I started as a temp for a two-week assignment at the Western facility. It was a much, much smaller facility. We came out to look at this facility. It seemed so big, but what was funny was that after just a few years, we were adding on a second floor. We were adding on another building across the street. So the company just grew and grew. Wheels has a very good grasp of making the client feel one-on-one. -on -one. They never feel like a business. It always feels like a personal relationship. The map department has a few ASC world-class technicians. There's only a handful in the entire world. So uh, we have, I believe, six or seven. I am one of them myself, so that's a pretty big deal. What I think is great about this company being family owned is it really gives you the sense of family. When you know Jim walks down the hallway or Dan, they know who you are. They say, you know, hello, how are you? They say your name. They know who you are. I mean, we work here every day and many of us for many years and it's a very, very home atmosphere, the kind that you don't get in other companies. Well, being in the HR department, we get to do uh, fun, nice things for the employees. We're involved in um, family day. We have entertainment, um, we have rides, we have you know great food. It's, it's just a great day. And to be able to be one of the people that you know helps do that for our employees, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's very exciting to work, uh, work for a, a visionary and to have a whole room full of people rowing the same boat is very exciting. We own. Um, our success um, together, and, and if that means, if that's what means being in the family, then I guess maybe we are in the family. As I reflect back on 2008, uh, it's really gratifying to me to realize that Wheels was one of the very few companies that was able throughout the financial crisis of 08 and 09 to not only continue to finance ourselves, but in fact to grow our business Perhaps most memorable was a letter we received from our lead bank, which ended with a great phrase, which was, it's good to be wheels. 
Zali would be so proud of his son, his grandson, the legacy that is Zali Frank. And his spirit is just all over this building. And those of us who knew him pass on stories and memories of him to those who never met him. His spirit will never die as long as Wheels lives. Like all good families do, we have a memory or two. That we've done Working together as one All the people and places the Wonderful faces All the races we've won All the roads that we've traveled The times in the rain And all of the times in the sun We're taking pride in who we are As I think about the future, it's almost impossible to anticipate exactly what this business is going to look like five years from now. But what I do know is there are tremendous opportunities to continue to innovate and enhance and provide more value. So not only is it good to be wheels, but it's good to be part of the exciting future for wheels. And we want to thank every one of you for making those opportunities possible. The Frank family let me stay for another 75 years, I'll be okay. I'm here to stay. I am here to stay. I'm here to stay until they kick me out. And uh, maybe I'll be here for the 85th. I love it. I love it.